Welcome to the details of those stories. Now there is swelling pressure on government by porters and traders of earthenware in parts of Bonahafu region for implementation of the one district, one factory policy there. The Kufuado led administration had had, has had a year so far, and the youth of the Bonahafu regional town of Tanoso insist the factory must be tailored for the raw material found in that part of the country. Well, I've been there, and there's a report. This road, off the main asphalted Akwa Sunyai stretch, leads to a town called Kwaidu. It is one of many scattered communities in which earthenware production is the main source of employment for dozens of youth. Thousands of these are produced here every day. Nanayao is one of the key hands here. He has been doing this since he completed senior high school four years ago. He and his team go through four tedious steps to make your favorite earthenware bowl, known in local parlance as Aywa or Asanka. The process starts with softening clay. I decided to give it a try. And so let's see. Okay, so it's actually very difficult to put it in and get it out, but of course I'm a strong woman, so. I can confirm that it's actually a lot of hard work. But this is just the second step of the work that they do here. Yeah. Obviously, there's a lot of effort that goes in it. But for how much? We'll find out. Okay. It was not as easy as it appeared from afar. From here, the clay is needed to remove tiny stones so it can be shaped into a bowl. A lot of people know how to make the this in that um, flower, flower, uh, flower pot, you know, uh -huh. and the bees you know. All these things can help the youth so that they can get a job to do. One district, one factory, what we are expecting from the government to do is to come and get um, a big land, yeah, so a site for us, so that all of us can move there. It is then heated in the furnace to make it harder and doable. Yeah, we put it. Nanayal tells me. The yeah, process of producing that. earthenware right. is not okay. only tedious, but All comes with a few nice. bodily harms. Mm. I will see my hand covered with salt tape. Yes. Uh -huh. If I don't use this, mm -hmm. all my hand become wound. There will be a wound. Yeah, it's quite painful. Yeah. Nanayao has many unemployed friends. One of them is Evans Bar. Unlike Nanayao, he lost his job as a caretaker of a shop and found his way here even though his services are not needed. By this time, I, me and you are talking, I want to go to Accra. I want to go and do shoemaker. I know how to drive motorcane. I can use that work, but I don't have enough money to go. Do, this one, you call it a filing. I can do one filing. If I get that, that filing, I can take car and go to the place I want. Even boutique. I go stay there. The one the straight one for three. It, it's not yet come. But I have to go. When it comes, I will be back and do some. There are many young people like Nanayao and Evans here in Tanoso. They are either eager to work or risk migrating to the capital, which is already choked and houses a chunk of the nation's unemployed youth. Most of those who work at this pottery and the entire township say their hope is built on government's one district, one factory promise made prior to the 2016 elections. This is a finished product of clay dug from the ground free of charge and they have it in abundance in this area. For the youth here, this is a source of livelihood. They're looking forward to one district, one factory that will make their jobs easier, better and maximize their profits. And so that happens, they might as well continue in the hard work or lose hope. Kistian Dwapia, Joy News, Tanoso in the Bonahavu region. Tomorrow I'll bring you a second part of that story also from Tanaso and hopefully we get some response from the One District, One Factory Secretariat. How far are they? How close are they to that region?